Let's suppose the firm's production function is q equals square root of l times k. And then over time, it changes to q equals l times the square root of k. We'll ask ourselves, has there been technological change? And if so, what type? What we're really asking here is, which is greater, the original production function or the new production function? I'm going to rewrite with exponents instead of radicals. So now this is what I'm comparing. I notice that there's a k to the 0.5 in both terms, so that is actually not going to factor in here. What I'm left with is this l to the 0.5, which is less than l to the 1. So the new production function is going to yield more output using the same inputs. So now that I know I do have technological pro progress, how am I going to evaluate it if it's capital saving or labor saving? My rules are, if my marginal rate of technical substitution stays constant, then there's neutral technological process. If it's reduced, we say there's labor-saving technological process, progress. And if it's larger, there's capital-saving technological progress. So now I need the marginal rate of technical substitution for each of my production functions. I need the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital. So the marginal rate of technical substitution for my initial production function is k over l. I need the same things for my new production function, and I get 2k over l. So my original production function had an MRTS of k over l, and my new one has 2k over l. Well, my new marginal rate of technical substitution is clearly greater than my original one, telling me there's been capital-saving technological process, progress.